What's good, YouTube? This is Admin Umbra back again for a very special video. Our first ever viewer submission battle sent to us by one of our very own, one of our own rocket soldiers. Give it up for maybe Snoopy. I'm joined, of course, by the fantastic Admin Shade. What's going on, everyone? We're really excited to show you this video. We are supporting our rocket troops, supporting maybe Snoopy, and of course, John as well, who's in this battle. We have some yeah, really John. cool. Hey John, we have some uh, really cool teams here, uh, really OU teams, but uh, it's a really awesome battle. I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, Rocketeers, you can submit your own videos, your own content, and this could be you. We are more than happy to give you a shout out to publicize your hard-earned battles, your hard-created art. Uh, whatever you guys are doing, please, please, please send it in to us. We are more than happy to support our Rocket Troops. Uh, without further ado, you want to talk about these teams first, Shade, or should we just pop on into it? Um, we can talk about the teams real quick. Um, I like John's team the... a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, just because of that Mega Maw Wild. I know how much you like Mega Maw Wild, so... No, I, John is dead to me, just for that Maw. <laughs> no, but Snoopy, though, with that Mega Venusaur, like my favorite Pokemon, I like that, Snoopy. I like that. I yeah, like that. I think it's funny that Jason has your favorite Mega, and then John has my favorite Mega. I just think that's, <laughs> that's just really cool. I like that. Why? Yeah, that's... All right, that's funny then. If you um, if you want to watch a video where Mega Mawile has some fun, hey. you can check. Okay, I won't. <laughs> we'll have links in the description for some more videos. Um, anyway. By the way, we'll also have a link to uh, to maybe Snoopy's channel. So please be sure to check him out. Support the fellow Rocket Troops. Um, let's you know send love each other's way. All right, look at these teams. I actually I kind of like Snoopy's team to be honest. Um, I'm a big fan of the Eyes Merrill. Curious what kind of set that is. Um, for a lead, I would predict. I mean, it could be the Heatran, it could be the Tyranitar, it could also be the uh, the Lando Calrissian in there. Um, kind of depends on what he's running, but I I think Mega Venusaur has a pretty good matchup against John's team, honestly. Yeah, um, definitely. Between Rotom, we're not really afraid of Gliscor or Terrakion. Like, really just the Volcarona uh, and, and the, the Latios. If he can take those out, then he doesn't have too much to worry about. Yeah. All right, well, let's just jump right into it then. Let's get it popping. No, 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 no. Check out these character models. Mmm, look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope they have more clothes in the next game. Yeah, there's like, like a ton of girls' clothes, but there's not any real... There's not that many guy clothes. You know, if that's what it takes to make up for years of sexism, I'm okay with that shit. Yeah, I'm that's okay. Fine. All right, so, I'll, yep, we gotta get out there. We don't have that air balloon. We gotta get right up out of there. Um... I like it. Venusaur's already on the field. Can take anything from Gliscor. Could be a Toxic. Could be an Earthquake. Uh, standard going for Protect. Does he try and even get knockoff? I don't really see the no, need. No, I don't think so. I don't see the need for that Protect. Um, but he's going to go ahead and switch out. Um, into the Mafa. Appropriate name, given recent movie releases. Uh, good choice. Uh, and of course we got that Mega. Oh, that beautiful shiny. Oh, Venusaur. You're so beautiful. Okay, this ain't, yeah, it's not going to touch him. That's not going to yeah, touch him. Yeah, that Giga Drain's not going to do too much. <laughs> and especially, um, uh, John's not really in a good position because of that Heatran, and it immediately comes right back out. And I think he tries to set up here, but that's just in vain because... Yeah, I don't... You know, personally, when I'm battling, like if I was in John's position, I realize he might not have known what switch would come in, but if there's something that obviously stops you, like, that's a waste to turn a setup. Like, even damage. Like, you know, this Heatran could have a Focus Sash, doesn't have a Balloon. Even going for a Bug Buzz, like... There's more productive things you can do than ways to turn a setup. And Snoopy does, of course, get the free rocks up right here uh, as the Rotom comes out. So Heatran's about to get out once again. Um, and see what type of Rotom this is. I don't think either one of these teams has a spinner or defogger, do they? Oh, yeah. I, well, the, the Latios could be. Yeah, that's um, true. Does Snoopy? I don't remember what else on Snoopy's team. Um, I really like this switch, by the way, into the Megasaur on Snoopy's part because, one, it could, we don't know what Rotom it is yet. It could also be a Trick Rotom. So not only does it hard counter Rotom, but it also prevents him from tricking an item because of the Mega Stone. And that's a good switch into John's part as well, because he definitely doesn't want to try to take this. But actually, this is a prediction, I believe. I think uh, yeah, nice prediction. Right John here. goes straight up for the Surf. I like that play a lot. I yeah. like that play a lot. Shows us that he is, in fact, Choice Spec, which is huge, because especially if Snoopy was carrying Pursuit on this Tyranitar, which is not that common in this gen, um... But that Latios would be gone. If he went for Psyshock and then Snoopy had Pursuit, it'd be a dead Latios. Yeah. Uh, which he obviously needs because of the Venusaur threat. So I re that's, that was a fantastic surf. That was really, really nice. And uh, this is out into here. the surf. And it doesn't do pretty much anything to this Azumarill. And of course, yep. he needs to get out. 
immediately. You know, we obviously knew it could be a uh, a soul vest, um, but looking at that damage, Shade and I, when we were watching this the first time, neither one of us really thought that it was actually an assault vest. Is uh, a zoom world just looking at that damage? Um, but then John does bring in the the worst Pokemon ever made. The best um, Pokemon ever made. <laughs> <laughs> no sir, not at all. Uh, and then, oh, the, just oh, this is this is this is the matchup. The for, matchup is right real. Here. The matchup. Oh, Time to even the score. <laughs> yeah, you better switch out. Uh, what do we go into here again? Uh, oh, yep, the Lando. Yep, Mandy, that makes sense. Yeah. That was a I good get that intimidate. Yeah. He goes for the Swords Dance, I do believe, uh, yeah. upon Mega, which is horrifying. That's the worst thing you can ever see <laughs> looking at you. Um, but this is why I Lando us with that Intimidate. We want enough EVs for that bulk uh, because we can still live one. Not well, but uh, Lando us can live one. Uh, and then the earthquake, like, is just gonna eviscerate this small while. Right. Um, this this is my favorite play personally, just to see this thing. Go down. <laughs> um, obviously, the small while was only at plus one uh, because of the intimidate, but still, that's pretty impressive uh, to live that sucker punch. I don't really remember what play they go for here. I think John sends out. Oh yeah, sends back out the uh, Batias to try to scare out this thing by using the surf. He doesn't go for Surf again, though, right? He, doesn't he go for Psy Shock or yeah, something? Yeah, goes in for Psy Shock, because I think, uh, again, he predicted the switch into a Zoom Reel, so... Yeah, which is good. Like, you have to keep in mind what your opponents do. Like, what switch are they showing you they'll do? And that's why you switch it up. Uh, you know, because he could have gone in the Taiwan Tower again, uh, but he did. He just repeated the Azumar switch. Um, but I thought that was a good prediction. And this is a good uh, switch in by Snoopy. Uh, right. Going back out, trying to secure out this Latios. I, I mean, yeah, he, ha he has to. Like, there's yeah. nothing he can do. Um, but yeah, obviously, you don't see Pursuit as much in this gen. It's really gone down in popularity. Um, Taiwan Touch just being used kind of differently. I really, when I saw this, though, I was pleasantly surprised right here. Um, oh, yeah. Obviously, the Clamps does, in fact, come back out. Uh, but we go for a Dragon Dance for Taiwan Tower. Like, you don't see that every day. No, I, I really appreciate that. Um, I'd love to know what you're running, Snoopy, because um, usually you see this with the uh, the Mega. Um, so, I, oh, Leftovers. Okay, cool. Um, but no, yeah, I was so excited to see this, uh, this Dragon Dance out here. I thought, doesn't Tywinitar get Ice Fang? I feel like it does. I think it might, yeah. Uh, but I do think, yeah, going straight for the crunch, but, like, I've used several, several Gliscor, and, like, it's, it's gonna take at least two Dragon Dances. Right. Probably three, before you can effectively bust through this thing. John unfortunately, um, misses that Toxic, too, which is kind of a factor. But yeah, that's Stone Edge. That was huge though, the Stone Edge. Um, I definitely understand not wanting Stone Edge to miss because it all it just it does so much. Um, you remember Krieg from Borderlands and how he hits himself like 30% <laughs> of the time? Yes. That's what Stone Edge is like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same feeling. Stone miss. Um, Venusaur comes out though and like Gliscor, he can't touch us. Like there's nothing nothing he can do to this big bulk of beautiful. Um, Flower. So John pop. just protects, just trying to get some health back. But um. Oh, Snoopy, please, what is your EV spread on this, on this Megazord? Because I was kind of honestly surprised by the sheer amount of damage output. Yeah. Obviously, um, a lot of things you're hitting aren't specially invested, probably. But, like, this Sludge Bomb does some damage to this Latios. Like, I was really surprised. It's choice specs to Mega Venusaur. We've already <laughs> talked about this. But you also don't see Sludge Bomb as often. Yeah, that's right. Um, not in singles anyway, so I'm guessing this is a, a more offensive variant. Because we don't see the Leech Seed, we don't see anything but uh, Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain, I believe, the whole battle. Um, and he does switch out from a Terrakion, which I know the, the bulk of Venusaur sets do not feel whatsoever. Um, but he also does have the excellent switch in uh, of Lando, which he also doesn't really need anymore. So I, I do very much understand going into this. Right. Um, and even if he's Scarfed at that point, like we will survive another, uh, and we can always just hit him up with that Earthquake. And you bet, yeah, the one wash comes back out. Um, and we go, oh, okay, we go for the Stone Edge. Good. I'm assuming that was a prediction by Snoopy's part. Ooh, that did, uh, nice damage. Yeah, it was, that was not this, bad. I think it was at this point where we were talking about we don't think that this Rotom is defensive, not physically anyway. I don't. That's, I mean, it has leftovers, but that's, you should not take that that poorly. Yeah. Like, you're, you should not take that that poorly. Like, this might not be a max invested lander, that's hard to say. And yeah, it just, it, 
it got obliterated by and physical that, hits. That it, was a crit. See. That U-turn was a crit, but at the same time, like that was still like so much damage. I just yeah, I don't feel like it was. Like it's just I mean we could easily be wrong. It just it it did not look like the road of my know and love. The road of my know and hate. <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird that Wodum can't get rapid spin? I mean, I realize that would be a nightmare, but it is a washing machine. That's true. That makes a spin cycle. That's what they should call yeah. it. It should just be a version that is, of that. That'd be kind of hilarious. Oh, <laughs> uh, and so yeah, now we've got stalling uh, for the Willow was damage, um, and I was actually pleasantly surprised by Zapdos. I thought it would be the set that like we saw Shofu. Shout out to Shofu, running a lot uh, when X and Y first became meta. Um, you're toxic. Uh, sub Rusep. He actually shows us he has the heat wave a little later. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by Snoopy uh, that it wasn't just the one attack. Uh, Zapdos. I forget what he switches in right here. I think uh, I can't remember what comes out. I mean, he's he's pretty much down at this point. He's very few things left. Yep, yeah. Terrakion comes back in. Um, and yeah, he goes, okay, so he shows us right there. Uh, the Stone Edge. I think, Zabdos yeah, that's the other popped. crit. There are a couple of crits this game. That was a, that was an important crit, I think. I don't know. It, it depends on the set of this land. I feel like that's Zapdos. I mean, it could have been max defense, bulky, but I feel like it was popped. Uh, I don't agree with this switch on John's part. Because um, Mafa maybe could have been useful against that Venusaur. We outspeed, we have Quiver Dances. And... He just let it get absolutely popped by this Vena, or this uh, Azumarill, excuse me. And granted, like the rocks were up, so it was severely crippled. But I don't know if I agreed with completely death foddering it. Um, although I, I do appreciate uh, this Gliscor switch because with a protect, yeah, Gliscor can definitely live in Aqua Jet. Um, there's no question. If this thing is max HP, max defense, or defense from above half, yeah, it'll live that. Bap. Yep. Earthquake. Get up out. This is a pretty close battle, actually. Like, it's pretty neck and neck. Yeah, I've actually... This is a closer battle than I'm used to seeing, especially like, even in Showdown and stuff like that. I think both players did a great job this game. They're just, like, making good switches, making good plays in general. All right, Willie, Snoopy, you need to meet up with this Venusaur set, though. Tell me what your, what your deal is. I appreciate Venusaur. Um, and I mean, what are you doing? Try no, you, you are not safe. Venusaur is out here. You can protect all you want. You are still going to get popped. One away. I don't get with that switch out, honestly. Like, did he forget stealth walks were up? Because he loses the health he gained from the Black Sludge. And it, like, it's even e easier for Venusaur to take him out. Um, and this is why I think this is an offensive Venusaur. Because this, I realize Terrakion is not bulky, but good lord, all that damage. So much eats damage. Him up. <laughs> Absolutely eats him up. Uh, and at this point, Venusaur is just, just wrecking shot. Yeah, because see, he comes in, like, he loses all the health that he even gained, and now he's he's done. Like, Venusaur's got it. There's nothing he can do. What is that to a Mega Venusaur? Although that is, that is defensive Mega Venusaur damage. So I'm curious. Maybe I'm just underestimating my boy here. I'm not um, sure. I mean, I think that this Venusaur is just very impressive. We've been impressed a lot by Venusaur lately. Like, I know it's your favorite, but, like, in VGC, we were getting into VGC, and oh, yes. that Venusaur from the other day just wrecked face, and uh, we'll put a link in that in the description as well. But, yeah, that, that was a great battle by both of these really guys. It really was. Um, again, shout-out to, to maybe Snoopy. Please check him out. Uh, we will have links to his channel in the description. Uh, show that love and support to our other Rocketeers and the Team Rocket members. Um, but this time actually shade we would like to uh we've had some new members some new recruits enlist into team rocket over the last few days yes we have uh, we'd like to to formally recognize all of you welcome you to team rocket uh so uh we're gonna you know give a little shout out to all of our all of our new rocket recruits um master ant 365 thank you for joining team rocket link fan 196 jake reif uh dylan berries i hope i said that right if i didn't tell me i'll give you a shout out again uh, Randy Braddock, and if you have not received a shout out, it is because your subscription is set to private, so we don't know you joined Team Rocket. You're like undercover at this point. So if you want that shout out, just change that. Uh, we'll see your name. We will shout you out at the next available opportunity. Thank you all so much for supporting us here at Rocket HQ. Uh, it really does make a difference. Know that we are here to support our troops as well. If that be community submissions, whatever you all want to see. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Rocket HQ.